Good morning. Good morning, day 78, and we are in McDonald's. <laughs> and it's the first time we've been. We yeah. actually had a motel across the road. It wasn't calling us, but this morning we thought McDonald's for breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Opens early. Yeah, yeah. So, um, good start to the day. And this is our second last day of walking. Yeah, we're yeah. at McDonald's Pororua. Yeah. And we're heading into Wellington today. Mm. So, a little excited. Mm. Um, yes, about 30 kilometres. Uh, our Airbnb is near the Botanic Garden. So, we'll do the track up to there. Mm. Um, and then tomorrow, all we have left is the Botanic Gardens in Wellington City and then down mm. South Wellington to the, to the southern the, terminus. So, yes, yeah. so, so, so we, we are, we are excited. We yeah. are very excited. Yeah. So it'd be a big day today, but it's and it's drizzling, so it's going to be it's a bit mist, wet. Mist and getting wetter, yeah, so the yeah. raincoats will be out, but it's just great to be coming in. Yeah, and a bit windy as well. But yeah, so this is the homeward stretch now. Early early start for us. We want to get yeah. in, get going, yeah. and yeah. Um, and yeah, get start to start to get very close to heading home. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. We are back on the trail. Motel we stayed at was down there. Back on trail, here we come. That's a really good sign. <laughs> there, it's got Cape Rianga, 1,652 kilometres to the left, and Bluff, 1,354 kilometres to the right. That's where we're going. Learning on our walkway, steep walking track, just what we like. Hot study. Yep. Been off the McDonald's. Yep. Lots of steps. And then we come to the bridge. It's quite humid. And more steps. Hmm. We've got, not sure how many steps, but we've done 500. And, uh, I can't help but think about when I was going up Green Head and how I overheated and I'm just thinking I'm a fitter now and whilst it's hard I'm not finding it hard it's good 600 steps I don't think we're going to see much from the top somehow Colonial Knob Summit first, and the view's going to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we, eventually we go to Kau Kau, which is... Kau Kau, which will also have amazing views. Yeah, 13.2 kilometres, six hours, so... It's quite going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, misty, misty. a lovely end to our North Island adventure. I hope this lasts for a few more hours.
look, there's cattle at the top. I don't want to startle them. Female with her calf, I think. Hello. Good morning to you. You weren't expecting us, were you, this morning? I don't know if that's a bull or a, or a cow. No, it's a cow. Can we come past, please? Can we? Okay. Thank you. There are some alpacas. They don't mind the rain bit of road walking to link up the next climb we're going to have for the day. Look. Well, what do you know? This is a bus shelter. The one that, it's similar to what um, Judy was very impressed with just north of Auckland. Bays. On That's the bays. Bay. Yeah. Bus shelter with sides and roof. And yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I said I'd film it for about one. That's really random. I found one today. We are still walking on the road. And now we're going rifle, rifle range road. And there are the reassuring TA signs. Okay, a bit more road walking. It's still raining. Lots of horses in this area. There are a couple of equestrian centres. This is a lovely little country lane. Even in the rain, it's lovely. We're taking the old coach road. We've been walking for five hours and we've got about seven kilometers to go to finish um, this part, the colonial knob, and then there's another summit that I've forgotten what it's called. So it'll take us a couple more hours and at the end of it there's a cafe so we're going to go in there and have a hot drink I'm still loving it though it's getting cooler it's getting wetter for longer but it's still a great day it really is there's a bench seat overlooking
summit is still 2.3 kilometers ahead, so we've still got a fair bit to go. The summit is up there, and that is where you can enjoy the view. pointing in that direction so the view must be amazing when it's there so let's pretend okay we thought we'd just say a few words about this being the second last day before finishing the north island <laughs> and our last big hill climb before we come down to wellington yeah now that we've got up uh, got up mount here cow cow or mount cow cow <laughs> it's called mount cow cow that's what the locals it said. Is it Mount is Kaka. to us. It is to us. So, and it's, um, yeah, just reflecting a little bit mm. as we're about to come into Wellington. We do a little bit of walking tomorrow, but not much. Yeah. And I was walking up to Mount Kaka because it was quite a few kilometres up. Not that steep, <laughs> but lots of kilometres to get to here. I was reflecting how we started in the wind and the rain and the mist. Yeah. And on, we're... At, um, on a 90 mile. Yeah. 90 mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was windy. That was windy. stronger wind. Um, yes. Yeah, and uh, we're sort of finishing <laughs> in the mid. The mist, apparently there's some Wellingtons out there somewhere. Yeah, if we could actually see Wellington, we might feel that we're actually finishing yeah. this walk, but because we just... We're sort of going to get spat out the bottom and we're there. Yeah, yeah. But reflections on more yeah. personal stuff. Yeah, yeah, why not? What was I looking for? Yeah. I was looking for adventure, challenge, certainly had plenty of that. Mm to build patience and resilience uh, yes the resilience is built patience is still a work in progress <laughs> <laughs> for me too <laughs> um but also teamwork has been yeah. amazing yeah there's been that sense of team the yeah. whole time we've had to work mm. together um to, you know, every day we've had to negotiate what we're going to do and 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 for the most part we've gone so well yeah okay. we've had the odd two Two. We only had two, actually. Two, two in how many days? Two in, well, we've been on trail 78 yeah. days. Yeah. So we're, no, it's, we work well together. And um, the importance of, if you're actually doing the TA with someone else, it's really important that you consider them um, every day. All Otherwise, the time. All the yeah. time. Yeah, all the time. So that's every been, step. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, been, um, that's been really lovely. What's there to learn? Um, well, we started this having not done a through hike. Mm. So we've learned to um i guess how to go about it better yeah. um, build our confidence but yep. respectful all the time of what's to come but we're sort of through that hump of can we do it or not we're now we, more we just confident. go we're, we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're, we're doing do this it. we're, we're yeah. on with it um, um when we met up with gail and pete just a few days back they asked us about have we relaxed, relaxed. oh was that like, was a curveball wasn't that it was. so we have to think about that because we, we, we didn't haven't. come over we didn't come over saying we do no. this, this to relax so maybe no. in the south island we find a few more moments of relaxation <laughs> <laughs> what massage or something <laughs> I, don't, I don't know reflection don't yeah because we don't relax because we're mm. so focused on every day what we've got to do so there isn't really a point where you go oh i feel really relaxed <laughs> It just so we'll think seem about that more because it really yeah. wasn't on the radar. No, it's not a relaxing and it thing. is kind of important yeah. to do that. But yeah, doing the TA isn't isn't something that yeah, it's, you're right. It's not a relaxing thing to but do. But we'll have to reflect a bit. More. Yeah, we and do. I'm going to continue to work on some more patience in the South Island. <laughs> Why do you feel you've been impatient? No, not, no. not, impa not impatient, but I know I'm an impatient person, so I want to continue just to Try chill and, and chill yeah, a, bit a bit more, more. and enjoy it more. And, yeah. yeah, maybe take more breaks and things like that. And or if be, you if you less less mission oriented. Yeah, you've, you're very goal focused. Yeah. It's like Judy knows what we're doing and we're going to do it <laughs> and we're going to get there. Whereas I'm kind of like, I'm more likely to be a bit distracted. So maybe we can do a little bit from each other. And if there's an opportunity to, like yesterday when I was walking through um, wherever we were walking, there was this hairdressing place. And I thought, you know what? If I was walking on my own, I'd go in and say, can you please wash my hair and cut it? Yeah. But yeah. it's things like that. Yeah. It's not, little yeah. things like that. And that would be relaxing. Mm -hmm. God, it would yeah. be relaxing.
Halifax, but would we have got to Wellington in time for our plane? Yes, yeah, and, if, and if 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 I kept <laughs> stopping to have my hair washed, we wouldn't have made it. So it becomes so. it becomes that that tipping point. Um, yeah. Look, we're we're happy with where we got to. We always knew uh, probably only a few weeks in. I mentioned logistics. I couldn't see us getting the entire South Island done. So we're actually North happy. Island. Not, not yeah, North Island. Sorry. Do it. <laughs> been too cold all day. I, know. Um, could, I didn't. I, I, I knew logistically we couldn't get the whole North Island done. The numbers and the number of days mm. didn't stack up, and we weren't going to kill ourselves to do it and burn ourselves out. But, but really, we've, we've done really happy. well yeah. because it's only the, the seventy kilometres of the so just on seventy mm. kilometres that we that haven't, we haven't done. done. Um, mm. So we can come back and fill that in, which is January's mission. Yes. As yeah. Well. So with that, I think we ought to try and walk because I am slowly We're getting freezing. Cold. <laughs> We're getting very cold. <laughs> and we need to get out of this mist. We there is Wellington is down there somewhere. Wellington is waiting for us and tomorrow's meant to be nicer so we'll have botanic gardens, waterfront yeah, and lovely. southern terminus hopefully in better conditions than today. Yeah. Um, but you make each day what it is. Yeah. We it's just been, enjoy it's it been for what it is. It's interesting to see this in the mist and yeah, see all the I've different loved it. structures and yeah. the animals appearing in the mist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the so cows. It's been, um, it's been interesting. And um, we're walking to our Airbnb where we'll be staying for two nights gardens. near the Botanic Gardens. And hopefully tonight we can go out and have something really nice to eat. That will be relaxing. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye for now. Bye. Which is also on trail. So all good. Good. About six, I think. Yeah. It's only six. I think about six. Only six. Brilliant. Okay. The last six kilometres is going to be wet. Really, really wet. So I'll say goodbye for now. We've just walked up. I think the steepest hill that the TA could find for us. But look, we actually got a bit of a view, and there's an ocean liner down there, and there's a like a sports stadium. It's got Sky Stadium on it. So we can look that up later. Yeah. So we haven't seen much other than the big hill we just came up <laughs> because we didn't do enough hills today. Yeah. And we're excited because our sign actually has Botanic Garden Gardens, on and yeah. our accommodations near Botanic yeah. Garden. So yeah. we are getting a little more excited. Yeah. We've been walking for we've been but, out for ten hours now. And it bucketed rain just a little while ago. Yeah. So it's, it's easing off a bit. So it's been an interesting entrance to Wellington. We're looking forward to some maybe views of blue sky tomorrow yeah. and something pretty yes. to look at. Yeah. <laughs> This is the view from where we're staying. This is the balcony. It's just a really cute little place. And it's well stocked for B&B. &B. You can, there's all sorts of things you can create a meal with. That's the bedroom for Judy and I. And then this little living room. There's a TV up there as well. It's got a kitchen, fridge, and then it's got a pantry as well, so you actually can create meals. There's noodles, tin tomatoes, cereal, all sorts of condiments. And then through here is the shower 
and we've got wonderful we can do our own laundry toilets in there it's really cute it's really cute it's lovely this is our home for two nights oh and in the fridge look bottle of wine as well and spices and sauces and milk wonderful